Hello. How are you guys doing? Uh, so I saw this video pop up. And to be honest, I just had to watch. I mean, I haven't watched it yet, obviously. <laughs> but I have to watch. Because the title, what did British soldiers think on 9-11? It's kind of, that's a pretty interesting question. Ooh, the comments are turned off. I don't know. That's a bad sign, but the like ratio is good. Weird. But, I mean, I was born in New York, not in the city. So 9-11 definitely, it's, you know, especially my parents grew up in New York. So, you know, it's definitely a touchy subject a bit in my household growing up particularly. Um, but I've definitely never thought about what did British soldiers think on 9-11? That is definitely an interesting question. And especially since, I mean, you guys got roped into the entire war. <laughs> so uh, you guys definitely have, you know, you should have uh, your own thoughts. You know, I don't know. <laughs> you definitely are allowed to have your own thoughts. You were roped in just like the American soldiers were into the whole ensuing war. So what did the British soldiers think on that? Okay, I'm going to stop saying that. I feel like I've said that over and over. <laughs> Warning, this video contains scenes that some may find upsetting. Okay. There you go. So 9-11, I... Well, my ears are upset now. What I was in Northern Ireland. I'm ready now. So on 9-11, I was in Northern Ireland flying Lynx helicopters uh, down in South Armagh. And I'd come into the operations room that afternoon, you know, early afternoon, to, to look at the next tasking. And we used to have a TV in the corner of the, the operations room, which used to have sort of Sky News traditionally. This guy has an American flag in the background. Isn't that interesting? Like, um... I don't know what they call it. It's folded up. But that is an American flag, is it not? Or BBC News, you know, a news channel on there. And I just glanced up and saw the plane hit, I think, the second tower. And I remember just asking somebody, which movie is this? Because quite often when, when in downtime... When it hit the second tower, that was when shit got pretty crazy. huh? That's when... And if you watch all the news coverage of it and and stuff. Of course, they're all reporting on the first tower being hit. Probably by accident. You know, oh. Crazy accident. A plane flew into the World Trade Center. Then in the background, you see a uh, another plane hit the second tower, and that's when everybody knew, wow, including the newscasters. This is not an accident. Time or quiet time on those operations. People would put in a DVD or a, a tape and watch something, um, and, uh, and I just assumed it was some sort of movie. And of course, it was live when someone said, no, sir, this is the news. It's just it's just happened, um, which was a shock. But um, as I left, we had to then go and, and do you know our flying operations. So for us, it was sort of you'd seen something that was shocking and you couldn't quite get your head around, but you didn't have the luxury of time to really process it in the moment. It took you know quite a bit of time for us to realize what was happening over the next few hours, but of course... This is sort of interesting. I mean, I've watched a lot of 9-11 footage, and I don't often see this clip of... I don't know if I've ever seen this clip of a helicopter flying this close. You know, quite a bit of time for us to realize what was happening over the next few hours, but of course, as planes were then required to land when international airspace was shut, um, that's when we started directly feeling the impact even in Northern Ireland, as, as international jets were just looking for somewhere to land because they could no, no longer you know, continue their flights into the US. The conversations we were having... Yeah, that was wild. Every flight was landed and cancelled, which is crazy to think about. And I did not think about international flights. My God, that would be... Imagine flying all the way to America from across the world and they're like, eh, we can't land, guys. Jeez having both within our team and more broadly with friends and family back home were really just uncertain sort of discussions. I mean, I don't, I, I'm, I'm kind of, I just realized I'm kind of talking ignorantly, like maybe they were allowed to land. In fact, they're probably told, we have to land, guys. We're landing, you know, in Ohio. I know you're trying to get to California, but we got to land. 
questions about what, what does this mean? What do we think this might mean for us? For me personally, 9-11 didn't have an immediate impact, but but for the next um, many years, it did see me move into roles where I was right. either focused from the UK in supporting those who were forward in places like Afghanistan and Iraq, or actually there myself. You know, I spent nearly four years in Afghanistan and, and, and more years in, in other places linked to it. So, um, you know, it did absolutely have a, a huge impact over time. The attitude... It's just wild to think about, you know, about how that impacted Afghanistan and Iraq and impacted so many other, how many hundreds of thousands of soldiers? I don't know. From all other countries, not all, but you know, all sorts of other countries that were allied with the United States. Damn. Of the British military or the ethos, I don't think changed at all after the attack per se, many in the military had already seen Gulf One and had been in Northern Ireland and Bosnia, and I'd spent time in Bosnia and Northern Ireland already at that point. So there were people who were combat hardened, let's say, but it was a minority probably of, of the military. And certainly we hadn't had a large expeditionary type operation since Gulf One. And therefore, for many, this was the first chance to see whether what we trained, been trained for was going to be fit for purpose. Um, and that was quite exciting, but obviously nerve wracking for people in, in equal measure. For many people, it isn't. There had been a long period of, I mean, relatively long <laughs> um, period of peace huh? before world or yeah, before 9-11. And 9-11 wasn't really an act of war. What a bizarre situation. A whole different paradigm with terrorism. It's, it's a real damn shame that just a handful of people, I mean, I know there's actually a lot of people involved in coordinating it, but relatively few, can cause such mass world chaos that it can start wars. That is unfortunate isn't just a commemoration of the Twin Towers and, and remembering what we saw and where we were when we saw it. For many of these families, 9-11 is far more personal because they lost sons and daughters, husbands, brothers. Um, as if, if you haven't seen the footage, this car driving through reminded me. And by the way, I, didn't, I did not lose any family members in 9-11. Um, but <clears throat> despite most of my family living in in New York. Um, if you haven't seen the videos of people on the streets filming and the dust clouds after the towers collapse, the dust clouds, unbelievable. Lost. And you can see here the, sons and daughters. the streets just covered in dust. Daughters, husbands, brothers, um, as a direct result of having to deploy to places to deal with the impact of, of that yeah, that attack. And I mean, I'm not even talking about a cloud like this. I'm talking about when it falls. An explosion of dust going through down every alleyway. People running away from it. It's terrifying. And, and the threats from Al-Qaeda, etc. So we must remember that it's not just about commemorating those who died in, in New York, and I'm not suggesting people will, but we also must remember that with every, every death that followed in Iraq, Afghanistan, and elsewhere, there is a human Damn cost right. and a human story and a family that's still great and that is very important to remember and i'm to be honest i don't think enough people do that there's casualties from far more than just america far more than just on 9 11 and far more than just the american soldiers although you know of course especially here in america that is who we focus on and they certainly deserve it as well but yeah Breathing. That was depressing. U.S. nurse serving with Ukraine forces. I'm sorry. I just had to read this. You don't often see, like, a girl in combat. That might not even be combat. That's not a helmet. Whatever. <laughs> it stuck out. Um, U.S. nurse. I'm just curious what it says. U.S. nurse serving the Ukraine forces won't leave front lines until we win. All right. <laughs> That's a whole nother can of worms. I wonder if I'll have this thing down below this video. I don't think I've ever got one of those. It's, you know, interesting. 
go read the context of September 11th. Thanks to Forces News for this little news story thing. All right. Well, yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.